Myopia, also known as nearsightedness or short-sightedness, is the inability to see distant objects clearly unless they are relatively close to your eyes. It is very important to slow myopia's progression before it becomes severe in order to avoid serious eye health issues including loss of vision. Today, children in East Asia develop myopia at a high rate with almost 52% of the residents affected, with some countries being even higher. For example, 96.5% of 19-year-old males suffer from myopia in South Korea. Myopia also affects younger children in Japan. The Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology conducted a survey on myopia among children in July 2021. The survey showed that one in four children in the first grade, and about half in the sixth grade, suffer from myopia. Although myopia has been a familiar disease, it has not always been considered a serious problem, as clear vision can be restored by refractive correction through such methods as eyeglasses, contact lenses, or surgery later in life. In recent years, however, accumulated epidemiological evidence has revealed that myopia has a significant impact on the future incidence of many eye diseases. As shown in the table here, even mild myopia increases the risk of developing an eye disease called glaucoma that is capable of causing vision loss by a factor of four compared to no myopia. According to a University of Waterloo study published in 2013, myopia, once it develops, progresses until about age 24, and for some people it can progress into their 30s or 40s. In addition, the younger the age a child becomes myopic, the greater the amount of change and risk of becoming highly myopic, leading to a potentially increased risk of vision loss. What causes myopia? It is believed that genetic and environmental effects may cause the development and progression of myopia. Although it is impossible to strictly determine which factor is actually responsible for myopia, Environmental factors such as a lack of time outdoors are said to be a major factor in the recent rapid increase in the myopic population. The most common form of myopia occurs when the length of the eye, known as axial length, is too great. Common causes could be due to viewing close objects such as digital screens, phones, tablets, or computers for a more extended period and myopia is known to progress not only in growing children, but also in adults. In the normal eye, the lens works together with the cornea to focus light correctly on the retina. However, in the case of myopia, the point of focus is in front of the retina, making distant objects appear blurry. When we correct vision with regular glasses or contact lenses, these help people see better at a distance, because they move the image back to the retina, making distant objects become clear. However, when the image is moved back to the retina centrally, the clear image plane in the periphery of the eye now lies behind the retina. This is called peripheral hyperopia. Peripheral hyperopia, or peripheral hyperopic defocus, has also been proposed as a risk factor for myopia in humans. With the clear image in the periphery now located behind the retina, there is a signal for the eye to grow, and the axial length of the eye increases. We can overcome this issue by creating peripheral light rays that are instead focused in front of the retina. This is called myopic defocus. Kubota Glass uses AR technology to achieve myopic defocus. The system projects an artificial, myopically defocused image in front of the retina, which should decrease the signal for the eye to increase in length. Right after wearing Kubota glass, users will recognize the periphery stimulus around the center view as shown in the picture. However, the image projected by Kubota glass causes an optical illusion to trick the brain. The report stated that half of the participants wouldn't recognize the stimulus after 30 minutes of use. Compared to products which use a passive approach with natural light to achieve myopic defocus and must be worn 10 to 12 hours per day or more, 
Kubota glass is designed to be worn for just a few hours to actively project myopic defocus light in the periphery of the retina while providing clear central vision. The Kubota Pharmaceutical Group completed a successful proof-of-concept clinical study to validate the concept of a wearable myopia control device based on Kubota glass technology in August 2020. The results of the study demonstrated that axial length changes of the eye decreased with the application of projected myopically defocused images as compared to eyes without the projected myopically defocused images. Kubota Pharmaceutical Group is committed to translating innovation into a diverse portfolio of drugs and devices to preserve and restore vision for millions of people worldwide, in keeping with its corporate philosophy, a world without blindness, accumulating scientific evidence to promote development in pharmaceuticals and medical devices.